So it's day four. It's the start of the second uh, stage of the Ireland Way. And all I can say is I'm very tired. My decision making is slow. I'm clumsy. I keep dropping stuff. And today is the fourth day. And the fourth day is normally, if you're going to quit, you're going to quit on the fourth day. You know, I have no intention of quitting. But I tell you what, my body is not good at the moment. But I've got a mountain to climb, literally. Section two of the Barra Brefni Way is Shli Gaeltuk Mishkri. Starting where I left off in Keiko, it's a long slog and then a 500 meter ascent to reach Gugambara on the other side. Next, you pass through the villages of Balanagiri and Balavorni before rounding Mullinaganish and the Neves wind farms. Once you reach Mill Street, this signifies the end of this section. John back there was a welcome distraction from the walk. I will, yeah. You'll make it out, yeah. You'll, it's about five hours normal trek. You'll, you'll make it out. You'll be there for your dinner this evening. <laughs> really struggled getting up there. Uh, foot was uh, very sore. Um, left foot. I had to uh, untie it and kind of try and alleviate some of the pressure. Strange enough, I was seeing an angel. <laughs> oh. Grace, your angels are working a treat at the moment because uh, talking to John was exactly the pickup I needed, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. I just, I've just got to switch off the camera. Hold on. Sorry, it's my dad. You find the strangest things on the Ireland Way. And it was to get even stranger as I stumbled across a spooky looking abandoned building. The two blisters on my feet with every single step have ached but I've still managed to get on. But now I've got to get over that. Now this is something I wasn't expecting. It's a little SOS stop, in case anybody gets into bother. A lovely little shelter, lovely little area, absolutely gorgeous. Luckily enough though, I don't need it today, not yet anyway. Through grit and determination, I had made it. Staring out at the coast for what would be the last time in a while had left me in a reflective mood. With the wind picking up and a chill in the air, it was time to get down to Gugambara. On the way down, my feet really started feeling downward pressure into the boots. The pain was horrible. I decided to chance my arm and stay the night in the Guggenbar Hotel. I would really recommend staying here as the wonderful staff and the really lovely owners were very accommodating and I was able to rest up and try to soothe my sorry feet. So exactly what I didn't want today, uh, roads and rain. After hobbling for 13 kilometers, and with many stops, I finally made it to Balnagiri, where the incredibly warm locals went out of their way, not only to lift my spirits, but also to find me a place to stay. 
and so I was forced to take a two day convalescence. But I was lucky enough to stay at Tiernas Berdoga, a real hidden gem in the heart of Cork. Another massive bonus for me was that my partner, the amazing Aoife, came down for the weekend and really helped me out. We decided to take a trip back and rejuvenate at Guggenbarra. So I'm here rejuvenating at uh, Guggenbarra. Just amazing, scenic, beautifully serene place. It's uh, It refreshes something in you. It refreshes your spirit and something amazing and relaxing about it. I'm not too sure if I'm annoyed by the obstacle that was put in the way or the complexity of the ingenuity of the farmer trying to keep his gate closed. <laughs> Those were the three boys in D. <laughs> I tell you what, you gotta love, you've gotta love when stuff like that happens. Um, the first guy came was Michael. I was from here, this place, Scotland, oh, I was born here, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Born here in, 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 in the 30th of December 1940. Quite, quite, quite a cold month to be born. A cold month to be born, <laughs> right, then, yeah. Next thing, his friend came on the bike. The two of them were there talking, yapping away. You could take it off, like you could take it off. To the building, that's living, that is it. To the building, yeah. And next thing, the lovely Deirdre, and uh, I can't remember his name now, but uh, yeah, next thing they all came out and they were so welcoming, so lovely. And uh, great old crack to talk to, great old crack. And, uh, do you know each other well then? Yeah, yeah well, well enough anything. <laughs> well, well, he's you know what, I don't want you to know that's true, yeah. How, what, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> and is there, is, is there any water around no, you? No, 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 no. But that's, that's what adventures like this are all about. That's what they're all about. They're all about meeting people like that. <laughs> you, you, you won't fall off and pick it up now. You won't fall off it now. <laughs> and just enjoying the moments that come. <laughs> Once I reached Balavorni, I took a break at the Abbey Hotel, where I got my next stamp. Chilly morning, and what's the last morning of uh, this walk? I raced against time last night. Had to uh, camp in, in the woods, but uh, there's a couple of signs missing just outside Balavorni, so if they're still missing, be careful. But yeah, uh, cold morning. So, let's get to Mill Street. I also had picked up an additional war wound. So my foot situation at the moment. The blue wedgy things I had originally in, but I needed the extra pad. Have that in both. And then I had to try and change my boot strap because this part here was hurting my, my, my toe. I was killing my toe, so I had to, uh, yeah, put that there. I know the midges are attacking me, so I've got to get out of here quickly. Battered, bloodied and blistered, I finally made it to Mill Street.